Now the history recall brush works with the vertex position, but also when we were in here under the subtool project area, you notice that we had geometry and color. So the history recall brush as well as history projection uh, works with color and like I said, vertex position. So one thing we can do, let's go ahead and we'll do a little bit of poly painting here. So we're gonna go to RGB, color, fill object, and we'll even switch over to our skin shader four. And we'll go ahead and dock our color menu over here, fill object. We have X symmetry turned on. I'm gonna go turn our RGB intensity down. Hit L to turn our lazy radius off. I can just go through here and just start doing quickly, kind of blocking in And if you want this to be a little bit more painterly, you can go into your alpha, modify, and you can crank up. Uh, we don't have an alpha loaded, but we'll go ahead and grab this circular alpha. We can increase a streak length and density and strength. So as we're painting, uh, it'll kind of leave like little, kinda like little brush strokes behind. And you can also hold down shift and turn on Z add, and that'll just smooth uh, just your poly paint here. Now let's hold down control, and I'm gonna switch over here to, um, hold down control and switch over to mask lasso. We'll go to the side. And then hold down control, we'll go back to mask pin. And I'll hold down alt and we'll unmask some areas. And in fact, now that I think about it, if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see I have a playlist for making, uh, you know, going through here and extracting a Batman cowl and even a little bit of rendering. So if you want to see uh, kind of the making of that, you can you can check that out. So something similar to that, but we're going to keep this simple and we're just going to uh, use poly paint. Now, if I want to sharpen this mask up, I can hold on control alt and tap on my mesh and that'll sharpen it up. I can control tap in my canvas to invert that. If you want to know where all this stuff is, here's the masking. And again, it's uh, on my YouTube channel or my art station page or my gum road or my cube brush. If you go to the new intro to ZBrush, ZBrush for ideation. That'll show you all this stuff as well. But we're gonna go ahead and we'll put on maybe a dark red mask here. So we're gonna color, fill object, and we'll crank our, turn on RGB and crank that all the way up to 100, and then control drag uh, to unmask. Now, if you wanted to, you can also, uh, before you control drag to unmask, and you have this area masked, you can also, oops, let's go ahead and, so color, fill object, and then control tap to invert that mask again. You can go over here to masking, and you can say shrink, and we can shrink that mask and then hold down control alt and tap, and then control alt tap again in your desk, in your uh, document here to invert that. And we can change this to maybe an orangish color fill object. And now let's go over here to brush. I'm gonna go down to the very bottom here. I'm gonna reset all brushes so I can get my standard brush back. And I'm gonna go back in RGB, turn off Z add, and I'm just gonna go through here. I'm gonna hover over this red and hit C so I can sample this. And then I'll go through here and I'll put in just a little bit more detail here. Now at any point, if I'm like, you know what, I don't mind this part, but I wanna kinda of rearrange a little bit of this area on his face, I want his skin back. All I have to do is go back to where I just had his skin painted, control tap that point. And I can also use masking. If I don't want my history, let's go ahead and hit X, go out of X symmetry. If I don't want my history brush to touch any certain areas, if I put a mask there, and then again, BH, R for my history recall brush. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off Z sub, just leave RGB on and go through here. And you're gonna see Z intensity or RGB intensity is at 13. So I can just very, I can, I can either do like just a slight brush just to kind of knock it back a bit or I can crank that up to a hundred and really just paint that skin back in. But you're gonna see it's going to ignore what I have masked. If I unmask this and then continue, then it'll go ahead and uh, go back to just my skin. Now the other weird kind of thing you can do is you actually apply, I mean, it's not that weird. Basically what you're doing is, I mean, it's weird in the sense that I'm not sure exactly what kind of use you're gonna get out of this, but you can actually store this future point in memory. So if you hold down control and tap, that's gonna store this area in memory. And then if we go back in history to where we just had our skin, and then go to BHR for your history recall brush, as soon as you start using this, it's gonna yell at you and say, hey, if you start painting, it's going to delete all the undos past this point. And that's just a feature of ZBrush because if you start changing history in the past, everything is gonna change in the future based on what you're creating here. However, if you say okay, 
you know, you're here, you're back in the future now, and you don't have any more control point, but it's still in memory. So you can still go through here, and you can still use this point to project from. And again, we just have RGB turned on, so we're just projecting uh, color. And always remember, you can drop your RGB intensity down, and you can kind of just like lightly brush in color. You can go over here and change your um, alpha. So you can kind of just do a spray alpha. You can even go in here to your change it from a dots to a spray stroke, and you can kind of just spray in a little bit of stuff from your history. So again, you don't have to go from the future to the past. You can you can also use these techniques to go from past points to the future points, and then change your alpha and stroke and stuff like that. I thought that was kind of interesting. So check that out and see what kind of cool stuff you can do with your history recall brush.